Importing data from Excel. Lists. If you are converting from another system, you can import items, customers, vendors, addresses, and locations using our import templates. In this tutorial, we will show you how to import your items, including preferred vendors, bill of materials, and kits. All Orders provides Excel templates that can be used to import data from other sources. Make sure that you have the Excel software installed on your computer. The import templates are located in the C Drive, Program Files, Number Cruncher, All Orders, Import, and select the file. In this case, we are importing the item inventory file. You can rename the templates, but you should not rename any of the columns or delete any of the worksheets. You can, however, add worksheets. If you are referring to another record in your spreadsheet, such as vendor, tax code, or bin, that record must already exist within all orders. The import templates contain multiple tabs or worksheets representing the table structure of all orders. In Excel, the sheets are linked together using a primary reference. These references are in bold, which means that they are required entries. In this template, the item full name column is used in all the tabs to link the item tab with the vendor tab, related items tab, and customers tab, etc. Note, if you are using sub-items, then the item full name is the parent item followed by a colon, then the child item. For example, raw materials, colon, salt. The worksheets in the Excel templates provide a mirror table structure of all orders. For example, the main sheet, item, represents the main page on the item entry form. The vendor sheet represents the purchasing page, related items, customers, etc. The first worksheet, item, is the starting point. You must enter values in this sheet first before any other sheet will be considered. In the first example, we are adding regular parts. Enter the item's full name and group on the item sheet. I want to add two vendors for this one particular item. Switch to the Vendors Worksheet. Enter the item twice plus each vendor once. On the item sheet, I included the default bin for two items. To do this, you must specify both the location and the bin. Note also, the last item has lots or serial numbers, so I set the Is Serialized column to true. Importing lists can be used either to add or modify records. In this example, we show how to modify existing items. Only the fields that need to be modified need to be completed in the Excel template. In other words, if the cell is left blank, no change will be made. In this example, I want to change all the prices. I'll enter the item full name and then the price columns of the Excel template. If you wish to delete the contents of a field without replacing it, put D backslash in the cell. Here we are deleting all the entries in the UPC column. I also made the last item inactive. In this example, we will be importing two bills of materials, the interior and exterior door kit. When importing bills of materials and or kits, just like the item worksheet, enter the item's full name and group. Now, using the BOM Steps worksheet, set up your item full name and the step name. Next, on the BOM Components worksheet, list the component item full name, duplicating the item full name and step. If the quantity per is not one, then enter a quantity. You can enter a custom description for each component in the Bill of Materials. Remember, all steps and component items must already be records in all orders. This next example will be on importing kits. First, on the item sheet, enter the item full name and kit group. 
On the Kid Components worksheet, use the same item full name, then choose the component name. Now this name is a shortcut name given to the group of items assigned to a type. For instance, tools are assigned to the fixed type. However, for fixed items only, the component name must be unique for each item. So we'll name the tools 1, 2, and 3. Spaces are assigned to the variable type, and options are assigned to the yes-no type. For variable and yes-no types, you can have as many choices as you like. Finally, populate the Kit Selections worksheet where we'll actually add the part numbers. Again, I add the item full name. Now I add the shortcut component name for each type. Next, I will put the actual item names or numbers in the selected item full name. Notice my tools 1, 2, and 3 are my fixed items in each kit. For my variable type, spacers, there are three to choose from and two options for the yes-no type. Once your template is complete and ready to import, on all orders choose File, Import, Excel, and then pick the data type you wish to import from the sub-menu that appears, which is Items.